Welcome back, guys. IGN Live at E3 2016. I'm Max, and I'm joined by Yan and Thorsten from Deck 13. And you're showing off this game called The Surge, which, as far as I understand it, is, is a bit like a futuristic sci-fi Souls game. Is that, is that a, a, a fair assessment? Yeah, I think more or less. So it's futuristic. Obviously, it's, it's, your, it's your own game. Course, I always feel like a, a jerk saying stuff like that. But no, no, but I think, yeah, I mean, you can compare it because um, it's got very, very uh, difficult close combat gameplay and with one-on-one -on -one dual fights. So um, I think people who like Souls games will uh, hopefully enjoy that. You know what I really appreciate here is you've got this just horrifying, you know, barren dystopia of, of wreckage, but it's so colorful. <laughs> yeah. I, like, uh, terror can be colorful, right? <laughs> yeah. Can, can you speak a bit about the universe you're in and, and just the, the, the setting of the game? Yeah, so we really said it's not like uh, just any sci-fi utopia, but it's really like what could happen in the future um, if we just take the trends of today. If we say, okay, what's happening today with politics, with, uh, with uh, technology and so on, if it all goes down a bad way, okay. this is where we end up here. So it's not like uh, post-apocalyptic or something, but it's still basically a working world that we have here. And our hero, Warren, he wanted to take on a job in, at a very, very big company committed to uh, saving the environment of, of, of Earth with huge governmental funds. But when he got equipped with this super cool exoskeleton, he kind of blacked out, he doesn't know what's happening, and all of a sudden he's in an outer junkyard of this company, uh, and all his like more or less co-workers that he expected are uh, turned into something very, very cruel and bad, and turning against them, so all he needs, uh, all he can do is just fight them and fight for his life. Oh wow! Uh, can you speak a bit about the the just how the combat works and the weaponry you're going to be dealing with? Yeah, so I mean, like I said, it's, it's really close combat, dual-based combat. Uh, however, uh, very, very important is we added some new mechanics to that whole system, and that's targeting individual body parts in real time. Are those those little uh, square reticules yes, there? Yes, exactly. Okay. So you can really, in, in real time, you just use your, your analog stick and target which body part you want to target. And why would you do this? For two reasons, basically. The first is you find a weak spot on your enemy and say, okay, now I can take him down easier. Uh, but after that, the other cool thing is, if I'm more experienced, then I say, okay, there's some cool stuff he's wearing. I want to have that. So I need to chop that off in the fight. Like, uh, yeah. Oh my We're God. We're doing with the head here. Okay. We can pick up the helmet and we can craft it later on. Oh, wow. So about 95% 90 uh, of, the, of the items you get in the game, you get from your enemies. So um, what we say is, how you fight is uh, what you loot. So um, you can do it the easy way, you don't get the cool loot. You do it the hard way, you get whatever you like if your skill is adequate. Okay, so there's a good like risk-reward balance exactly. there. Uh, I can see down the bottom. You've got, you've got stamina. You've got what's, right. what's the what's the middle one? You got health and stamina, and then yeah, and we got energy, which is the combat energy, which fills up uh, as we fight. And there's a lot of uh, ways you can use that. For example, if you want to cut off a body part, you need to perform a finishing move. You need a full combat energy bar to do this. And also, um, you can with a certain implant, what Torsten was just using as he played, you can refill your health if you have enough combat energy. So, but this is just one implant that the player can get in the game. He can have classical like health injections but they are then empty at some point in the game. But if you're more like the risky player, you say, I, I strike my enemies, I get more combat energy, and then I can transform it into health and stay like with lots of health throughout my game. But it's more risky because I need to attack the enemies all the time. So again, it's up to your playstyle. There's not the one playstyle, there's a lot of playstyles that you can, you can okay. use when you play. So in addition to the close, close combat and just this just a horrifying junkyard of a place. <laughs> uh, is, this a, is, is there exploration involved, or is it, is it kind yeah, of a straight path? A lot path of exploration. Okay. So it's, if you don't explore, you'll lose in this game. There's not a straight path that you can just go, but you need to find out what's going on. You find out secrets, like we have this door, you cannot pass it, so you need to look around. There are most of, of the time several ways you can, you can solve a level. For example, here we have something where you need to overcharge uh, uh, like a circuit to open the door. And uh, like you said with exploration, this one is easy to overcharge because it has the EXO power level that we have. Our power is sufficient to do that. Mm. But there will also be others marked with higher numbers, so we see, we cannot do this yet. However, right. then we level up, and later we say, hey, in the first level there were so many things I couldn't use before, so I'll go back, i do some backtracking, I'll open up new level paths, so the game world opens up bit by bit as you play, and in the first run through a level, you will never experience everything that's in there. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a, a horrifying enemy, but <laughs> yeah. luckily it's kind of the same size as us. Are there large bosses? 
Yes, so this is kind of a mini boss right now, and um, if we find the time, we will show you a large boss later on. Oh, good. <laughs> and okay. uh, yeah, and for all these uh, enemies, you just need different tactics. For example, here blocking is very good, and always like uh, like forward dashing to break his attack, which is like a, a very clever thing. But I wouldn't dare to do it if I see this enemy for the first time. But when I learn, when I see him a couple of times, then I develop like cool tactics to defeat him. This is what it's all about. It's not the one tactic; it's your tactic in the game. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, it's an emphasis on melee, but are, are there any projectile weapons, or is it...? Um, yes, they are, but in our environment, we don't really need them. So we really focus on this one-on-one -on -one combat. So you cannot really take out your enemies from a distance or something like that, but you can uh, just, like, uh, attract them or weaken them or something like that. So it all comes back to the, to the close combat that you need to master in this game. Gotcha. Okay. Who's this? Who's this so man? Also, <laughs> like this man, if you, if you take a close look, he's wearing something like a very, very uh, heavy work suit. And he's got very strong like blade weapons. He's very aggressive. He's very fast. But also, he's rather stupid. This is what we can use against him. If you take a closer look at these blade weapons, they're actually used for forklifting, for like manual forklifting. Oh, nice. So these are two forklifts, uh, forks. And um, as I said before, you take the loot off your enemy. So at first we say, whoa, this is terrifying, we need to survive. And then you say, okay, where are his weak spots? So for the next enemies, you track the weak spots. And then you say, okay, I want to have these cool forks. I okay. want to have them. So I chop them off them, and then I can craft them for myself. I like, so I, li I appreciate the reinvention of industrial stuff as terrifying weaponry. <laughs> and forklifts do not get enough credit in that area. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, the, like, the power loader yet. from <laughs> Aliens is a forklift. Like, that is... <laughs> This guy's cool. Yeah. Um, so is the crafting, is it, is it something you have to go to a location for, or is it, or is it on the fly? Yeah, there is a location for it. We saw that at the beginning. It's this operations center that you maybe saw this orange building gotcha. um, at the beginning, um, where you can do stuff like crafting, leveling up, getting new health, uh, uh, adding these implants that I was talking about before that give you something. It's, in a traditional RPG, it would be something between attributes and skills, but only that you can exchange them, like plug them in and out so you can use the stuff that you want. And we take it so far that we say, what you see on the screen, the displays, they are the augmentations that the character has. So even health bars and stuff are just um, yeah, something you can plug in, you see the health bar, or you use it for something else because you're a cool player. You don't need to see the health bars, so you plug in like a, a strength boost or something instead. It's all up to you how you want to shape your character. Okay, so I noticed you had that little, uh, little elevator there. Yeah. Uh, we removed the ladders from gameplay, you know? We can still go vertical, oh, yeah. but now we don't need like climb up and down, so we just use this exo lift because we're in this company. There are all these workers with the exoskeletons. They wouldn't put ladders in there, would they? So they have these nice little that lifts. Makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and um, we can do really vertical level layouts. Like this one is really stretched out, it's very flat. There are others really going into the deep and stuff like that, so it's very different levels. And we do have some shortcuts also combining stuff like uh, the door you see here. We can open it up and we'll see we reached the place that we have been uh, at the beginning. Now, in terms of the pacing of the game, is does it jump around in time at all, or are you kind of just on this on this one mission, cutting straight through the game? Um, you're like on one mission, but and at the same time, you don't really have a mission. Your mission is basically finding right. out what's going on. So get you the really hell out of there. It's all yeah, cool. yeah. So you like get to the next safe place, see what's okay. going on there, see so if you can find allies. This and is so on. this is a boss, yeah. It is, yes. It's also like a, a robot that's more or less malfunctioning because everything is yeah, not doing what it's supposed to do. But this, yeah, this it, thing is just on, supposed to do It's on fire like and trying to kill yes. you. I would say it is definitely <laughs> malfunctioning. Uh, yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, we need to find out how to defeat it. For example, with this boss, you see uh, the uh, health bar of the boss. You cannot, like, chip it down. So, But you can see that there's this, like, threat analysis it's doing. And by attacking him, we can raise this. Oh, no. So this is what the gameplay is about. So the player needs to find out how can I defeat this enemy. Okay. Let's let's find out what it's doing. So you're, you're going after his Achilles wheel there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And uh, yeah, we try to to see what happens if we if we ramp up the threat analysis, if we stay alive for long enough. Um, and I think we are. I think uh, Trosen's really doing good. I think he did this before. I'm not so sure though. And now that we really like angered that one, he's doing a new phase of attack, oh. shooting these rockets at us. I hate those things. Doesn't look like a very good idea at the first uh, place. However, if we take a look and if we if we experiment in this boss side, we'll see that we can use this very feature to turn against the boss himself. So this is what Torsten will try to do now, and oh. like this, yeah, you almost brought him robot. down. But you could see that he was hit by it. So. Um, He'll try to stay alive, which doesn't look like an easy thing to do right now. Oh, man. And um, 
yeah, try to see if we can if we can uh, uh, go now, close to that. Is this the the general kind of size of bosses, or are some of them smaller and some of them much much larger? Yes, they're exactly like you just said. Some okay. are small and some are way larger. So the good thing is, oh now we, we we got him down and we can we can uh, hurt him. You see, uh, let's see if we can defeat him. Or cut off his robot pants. Uh, yeah, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> That's that's a really yeah. awful pl I, like that's yeah. an awful place to attack something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is why I think it doesn't like it very much. You've got you've got big huge robots. I'm like I just asked. Some of the smaller enemies I'm guessing are going to be kind of like other other humans who are just very yes, powerful. Yes, exactly. So we have everything in between. We have, we got humans. We got robots. We got human machine hybrids. Everything you can imagine in this in this universe. We got it in the game. Different sizes, different different uh, tactics, and so on. Because we really want to make this. An experience. Every time you play it, you discover something new, and you need a new tactic to do it. And okay. what's very, very important, it's up to you how how fast you progress in the game. Or you want to do some grinding. You want to have a full set of armor that an enemy is wearing. You need to defeat five, six, seven of them with cool finishes to get these armor parts. Then craft them, and then you go on if you like. All right. Okay. See, now let's see yes. if Torsten manages to there. finish yes. up this boss and rip off his shirt. I Oh, cool! I think got he got it. Or does he have another health bar? Yeah. Is that it? Did you get it? You got, got him. it. <laughs> Nicely done. Very beautiful. Yeah. So, um, when can people get their hands on this? Um, it's coming out next year. Next year for a PC, uh, PS4, and Xbox One. Awesome! Thank mm. you so much. The Surge, guys. It, uh, I believe you described it as Diesel Souls. Is that, <laughs> was that off the record? That's. Uh, it, it looks. It looks pretty badass. You got. You got robots and you've got combat. So keep an eye on this one. If that sounds like something that appeals to you, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. We got more yeah, three coming man. up. So mm -hmm. don't go anywhere.